Welcome to your stretch class. Usually this would be great to put on after a workout that we've done or a Fire 500 class that we've just put on YouTube. I don't think Steph has moved an inch since that Fire 500 class. I am on my mat from the class that we just filmed. I haven't even stood up yet. So I wanna get through this stretch before I even think about anything else because we owe it to ourselves after our lower body day. That's right, so lay down exactly where Steph ah. is. Join me, everyone. What's Join up? Steph. You're going to just easily drag in both knees to your chest, both of them. Now hug them, grab the opposite elbows, rock your spine side to side. So rock yourself side to side, massage your spine out. Now here's where the kicker is, literally kicker. Kick out your right <laughs> leg as you hug the left knee into the chest. You like that? Extend it out, kick it out. Kicker. You should have seen my kick. I saw your kick, Steph. She's got quite the kick. Draw that in a little bit deeper towards the chest, and then as you exhale, let it fall across the body and getting a nice spinal twist here. That is the stretch. You'll see that you have both of your shoulders down on the mat. So instead of letting that knee actually try to hit the floor, you want to keep the shoulders on the mat and let the knee go only as far as it can without lifting the shoulders up. Stay here. Enjoy this background music. Let your exhale help you sink that knee even further down. Well, that must feel good. Extend that same leg, so stay where you are and kick that leg. You're lengthening out the leg, and here you'll see this is your IT band. You're gonna begin to feel that. If you can extend it, flex it. So instead of pointing your toe, flex it. And sometimes we have to bring that leg right back up, but your IT band runs from your hip all the way down towards your knee. You'll feel this if you run too much or jump into a, a big workout without really being ready for it. I felt it one time I had this crazy uh, IT band pull after jumping into this basketball game that I played for three hours. Then I went home and my, my, the whole side hurt. And in the middle of the night, I could not bend my knee. It froze up. So I had to do all these IT band stretches. Maybe Bring, next time you shouldn't play basketball for three, three hours. hours. We kept winning. I can't help it. Bring the knee in. You're going to let it fall all the way to the same side that it's on. Again, bringing your shoulders down. Bring that hand on the inside of the knee. Let it rest as you open up the hip. So here it is, a hip opener. Before we had a nice spinal twist, now we're leaning in, leaning in towards the hip opener. Our hip flexors, they tighten up with all of the squatting motions that we do, so you this really remember. allows you to open through your hip flexors. You'll feel it on your extended leg and your leg that's falling open. That's right. These are our squats that we do non-stop in our Fuck Yes uh, program. Definitely start to feel it on the inside of the hips. The, Lots of different motions to I feel like that up. Without noticing, we do about 500 squats a class. I think at least we should <laughs> try to do that. Bring both knees into the chest here. As, as you grab them one more time, roll side to side, massage. Try to bring your chin and your, your forehead towards your knees and squeeze everything like a big ball. And then as you exhale, extend, kick out the opposite leg. Squeeze with a big breath in towards your shoulder and then let it fall across the body. Readjust. Now, if it's starting to really peel off, you might want to bring that hip back towards center. Sometimes the hip starts to follow with you towards the side. So you can just lift your hip up, bring it back, and then you'll feel that length in the spine. So that length in the spine is what gives you those cracks in the back. What a wonderful stretch to do right before going to bed. In your own bed, try this same stretch. You lay down, tee out your hands, kick it across, keeping your shoulders down. You'll hear a couple cracks in the back, really relieve some stress as you exhale. Try one more big inhale and a long exhale. You're gonna start to lengthen that leg, kick it out. And so here is your IT band once again. For those of us who are a little more flexible, if your leg is all out and you can grab your toe, that extra uh, pull down is gonna help you stretch even deeper. Sometimes in yoga, uh, a good idea would be to have a strap in this position. And as you pull on that strap, you're pulling on the IT band. In this case, we're just letting gravity really help you stretch. 
which is a wonderful tool, gravity. All you have to do is let go. We'll take one last big breath in. Long breath out, gravity. Bring that knee in and let it open up. Relax your eyes. Relax the hand on the inside of the leg. And just breathe. No matter what part of the world you're in, there's always a moment to slow down. Whether you're in New York City, right in the very center of the city, slow down with a deep breath and an even longer exhale. You control the speed of this world right here with your breath. One last big inhale, one last exhale, sink it. Both knees come right into our chest. Now this time you're gonna rock yourself up and down the length of the mat instead of going side to side, the length of the mat. So you're pulling yourself up and down, really use momentum, almost like a little kid. So today we went to a park and we actually got to play on a seesaw. It's been a while, but a lot of fun. You, just having the same, the same kind of joy as a little kid. Rolling up and down, have some fun here. Roll up and down, up and down until eventually you get to your feet. Use momentum to help you push yourself up nice and tall. We're gonna take your hands right above the head. And as you exhale right at the hips, fold forward, let go. A small micro bend in the knees. Sway your hands side to side like you're sweeping the floor, Cinderella. Your head relaxes loose and try to grab behind your elbows behind your knees and now you're going to bring your chest flat against your thighs so whatever it takes bend your knees even further whatever it takes to bring your chest flat against your thighs instead of looking down between your legs look behind your legs and squeeze one more big breath in all this blood rushing into the upper body let that go, keep your hands down, bend your knees, push them down onto the floor. You're gonna step it all the way back into plank. Hold plank for one second, lengthening your body. We're gonna rock ourselves forward on our tippy toes and then back, playing. Seems like today's theme is just to play. When we got on that seesaw today, Steph and I were just playing the most simple game. It's almost like we forget, we try to overcomplicate fun but it's really that simple a seesaw hold it into neutral you're gonna slowly sink down 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 onto the chest let your hands come a little bit wider here on your fingertips and begin to lift your chest up opening up the front body so we start by looking down and eventually we look forward now I wouldn't suggest looking up to the sky because that just really compresses your C-spine. Instead, looking forward, focus on that other, other part of the spine. As you inhale one more time, exhale, let it go. Hands are gonna push back to your nipple line. You're gonna come right back into that plank. Give me a second in that plank. Rock forward again, rock back, rock forward, rock back. And then let's get right into it here. I'd love to you to push back into down dog. Pedal your feet. Now the hands are still firm. Fingertips open up extra wide. Pedal your feet. One opens up, the other opens up. Taking your right leg up to the sky here. Open up your hips. Do a big rotation. Keep your both hands the same amount of body weight on both hands. Usually when we do this opening, we feel like most of that body weight goes to the opposite hand. Once you get that big opening, take that same foot on the outside of your right hand and take that right hand up to the sky. Here's that spinal twist again. And just a different variation. Right through the fingertips, a big breath open. And exhale, place that hand down. We're gonna stay right here. I'm just gonna shimmy this foot all the way across to the opposite hand. Place it down. Shin would love to be parallel, but it's very hard to get into that position. Dropping that back knee down, open up your chest one more. Drop it down to your forearms. If you're feeling a lot of pressure in the knee, 
right here, then just stay here, let the foot come in. Because sometimes this position, it brings a lot of pressure just because we're trying to keep the foot parallel, the shin parallel. So bring it back in and try to shift your body weight towards your hips, not towards your knee. So that means that maybe you have to sit up a little bit taller. If there's no pressure there, or even if you have a block. In yoga, we would slide a block just right underneath that, left, that right uh, booty, and that would help you take <laughs> alleviate a little bit of pressure from that knee. Now, in pigeon pose, I used to do these yoga classes where we'd actually stay in this pose for a whole five to six minutes. There was a yoga teacher, Vinny Marino, in Los Angeles from Yoga Works. He would put on like an old rock and roll song and just be like, you're gonna stay here for the whole song. And so many thoughts would run through our heads. Try to even out your hips. A good thing to notice is, are you shifting most of your body weight on one side? If you can, even it out. Both hips draw down evenly to the floor. Try to alleviate the tension around the neck while lengthening the spine. We're gonna do five more big breaths. One of the best stretches here. Right all the, all the way down your lower body, but also your spine, also your shoulders. As you lengthen that back leg, through stretching through the thing, uh, tippy toes. You should be on your last two breaths here as you inhale even bigger than before. And again, gravity just helping you sink a little bit more. On your next breath, guys, you're gonna make your way back up, but stay where you are, just lifting that chest up. For a little extra stretch, you're gonna bend that back knee, and if you can go around and grab it without any kind of pulling attention or sharp pain, try to go for it, stretching the front quad. Do not do this if it's your first time doing it. Best to kind of know what you're doing already. One last breath, and let it go here. We're gonna push ourselves into that plank. Hold plank, give your leg a little shake. Let the blood rush in now. Forward and back on your tippy toes, that motion again. This time we're gonna go halfway down on our push up and try to push up into upward facing dog. That's flipping your toes up. So exhale halfway down, inhale, open up your chest. Thighs stay off the mat. And as you breathe out, downward facing dog. Pedal your feet. We're taking the opposite leg up. Open up your hips, stay even with those hands and the weight. Just big round circles with the hips. Exaggerate, don't worry what, what you look like, it's what you feel here. Bring that foot up towards the sky and then across and down on the outside of the hand. The opposite hand comes up and there's your spinal twist. A couple things happening here. You're opening up your chest and try to have this, this length in the spine before we twist. So the more length you have, the more effective that twist. The inhale high, bring that hand down, and you're gonna start to shimmy this foot all the way across. So heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, and then letting it fall. Look at the pressure on the knee, even out your hips. Sink very slowly here. Make your way in very slowly. You got plenty of time. We, uh, as some of you guys know from our other videos, we've talked about these bracelets and how we have an all-inclusive that we've been going at forever now. Seems like two, three months. <laughs> Steph told me about this time how when she was a kid, she'd go to these all-inclusives and spend a lot of time in the dinner spot because you know there's not much else going on. So, so you'd go in and have an appetizer, take your time, Go in and have your main course, take your time, have a dessert, take your time, maybe a drink. This is the main action here. So we're not rushing into our pigeon. We're not rushing into hurry up and breathe through it. This is the main attraction. This is it. It's the main course. This is it. So have your appetizer come back, go deep, come back, maybe another bite. You're all inclusive. Inhale a little deeper, exhale, let go a little bit more. The story behind the bracelets, as we've been talking for months now, is that one bad incident could become the greatest thing 
that you uh, didn't expect. We lost our key, we had to get an all-inclusive for one night, and now for the last three months, we've been eating for free. <laughs> we've been eating for free. Take your time, one more. Let's do three, four more breaths here. Inhale. Taking a positive, turning it into a negative. What's that song? No, no, no. Taking a negative and turning it into a positive. <laughs> let it go here as you start to make your way up this time uh, be careful as you come up you're gonna slowly bring your weight over back towards the hips bending that knee reaching around see if you get a nice stretch for the quads no crazy spine action here if you're flexible enough to grab grab let it go here and I want you to slowly bring those uh, bring yourself down to that same hip that you're on we do a simple swing out with the legs Open it nice and wide. Bring the hands on the inside and readjust. The hands on the inside, readjust. Even closer, readjust so that you really open up wide in the straddle. Flex your feet. Inhale nice and long, long back. And then start to walk yourself forward with a flat back up until you can't anymore. As soon as you hit your max, that is when you allow the back to round and drop to your forearms. Be gentle, be easy. And like we talked about, let gravity let gravity help you in this one. So when we started this class, we were feeling a lot of the outside of our hips and knees. That was your IT band. Now you're starting to begin to feel the inside, the groin, the hips. So start to make your way back up we're going to rotate our full body towards the right inhale here and as you exhale walk your hands right down toward that same foot doesn't need to be grabbed doesn't need to be tense there's two ways of doing it you can flex on it where you're actually being active in your stretch or you can be passive and allow your head to back down still flexing your feet some ballerinas that are doing this class you might be pointing your toes Sorry, I don't know anything about that one. That's, that's out of my sphere of influence. But if you're a ballerina, you have to flex, I guess you can flex. You know who you are. Bring it all the way back up. Start to walk it over towards the other side. Inhale tall, lengthen your back. Walk it, round it at the last part. Let gravity do it. Start to make your way all the way back up. Bring the hands underneath the knees, pull them in, bring them together. We're gonna come onto our backs one last time. The way you start a class, you roll it up and down. The last stretch is called a happy baby or dead bug, however you like to call it. Bring yourself flat on the spine, flat spine on the back on the floor, hands on the outside of the knee, bring the knees down towards the ground, and all the while you're trying to push your tailbone down to the floor while simultaneously pulling your knees down towards the ground. So the more you pull your knees down towards the ground, the more your tailbone lifts, but the more you push the tailbone down, the more your knees have trouble pushing down. And what this is doing is really getting on the inside of your hips, your groin, open it up. Now let your body rock side to side a couple times, lengthening one leg, lengthening the other. Let it be fun, let it be happy baby. <laughs> I was in a yoga class once where the teacher forced us to laugh. You're gonna laugh now. Everybody just give it a giggle, give it a giggle. Inevitably, a small giggle becomes a real laugh. You, you just, it's laugh therapy. Um, give it a shot. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> a fake laugh always becomes a real one. I thought that lady was crazy. I don't know if I'm laughing because of this or if I'm laughing. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't wonder know. if anyone's doing it. <laughs> cool, guys. That's it. Bring it right back in together. Your, your feet and your knees, they touch. I would love you to roll yourself all the way back up to nice seated. Cross your legs. Lengthen your spine. We're just going to finish it right here. Bring those hands right above you. Wherever you are, right in front of your hearts. And I hope that stretch helped you guys out. 
Thank you for joining, guys. Thanks, guys. Class. Hope you feel good after that <laughs> one. <laughs> Woo! Nice.